Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Uh, to discuss a new topic, and that's going to be on my new video series that I plan on uh, covering in the coming uh, days and weeks. Uh, basically, it's going to be on my uh, hashtag MES experiments or math easy solutions experiments. And in this video, I'm going to go over introduction to MES science experiments. And basically, if you've been following along, I've been uh, on a hiatus from uploading videos because of my. Uh, anti-gravity video series that I've been researching like mad and uh, I think this video series on MS experiments about which will uh, involve showing some of the experiments that I've been covering just to upload more routinely and also to get your input on just exactly what's happened so let's just go through this introduction so after spending countless hours uh, likely more than anyone in human history uh, and Hashtag I am not joking uh, Researching all things spinning for my truly epic hashtag anti-gravity part 6 video I realized that I may still have a few more countless hours of research to adequately present my findings So similar to how I now see quote weird eyes everywhere <laughs> Yes, uh, if you've seen my earlier videos, you know what I'm talking about. Just go to mes.fm slash eyes for a rabbit hole that you wish you didn't know existed. Hashtag don't say I didn't warn you. So anyway, so similar to that uh, wild phenomenon, I noticed the same pattern of the behavior of spinning motion in everything. From gyroscopes, spinning tops, electromagnetism, gravity, politics, religion. That's right. Uh, or, or that's just religion in general. Uh, psychology, philosophy, mathematics, numerology symbology, the occult, health, biology, and even sports, both on TV and personal, and in fact to all life in general, the same repeating pattern uh, is blatantly present. The pattern can be roughly summed up as rotation represents the merger of seemingly opposing forces. And yeah, this is just a, a glimpse of uh, the kind of research I've been doing for my uh, spinning or anti-gravity uh, research. Some pretty epic and far-reaching stuff. So anyway, so some topics and concepts that become unavoidable when exploring the fundamental mechanics of rotational motion include the following stationary motion and non-stationary motion, uh, good and evil, and individual and collective consciousness and subconsciousness so yes i am going out pretty deep in this uh, think about when you're th uh, when you're thinking about yeah think about what you're thinking about when you're not thinking i dazing off when driving a car but getting home safely think about you're driving a yeah, multi-ton um, mechanical uh, beast and you're just dazing off but you somehow get home safely there's a bunch of cars and uh, uh, pedestrians on the road and you're just somehow uh, <laughs> just just went through all the twists and turns and just how somehow made it so think about that I'll, I'll be talking about that in my anti-gravity part six video near the end once I go through some of the experiments I did and also so religion and science intuition and reason these are just another of one of these uh, duality concepts and uh, merger could represent uh, spinning or the yin yang uh, so and also positive and negative electromagnetic uh, polarities uh, you could also check out Ken Wheeler's Ethera a uh, YouTube channel demonstrating ferrofluid dynamics near magnets quite amazing stuff and also electromagnetism uh, magnetism and gravity check out David LaPointe's primer fields if you haven't already epic stuff so left wing and right wing both in politics and uh, birds uh, the yin and yang sun and moon light and darkness birth and death magic and technology for example think of uh, telepathy and then think of using your phone to talk to someone across the world what's the difference uh, and anyways <laughs> So yeah, life and death, physical and psychological, body and mind, carnal and spiritual, past and future, Christianity and Islam, man and woman, uh, these are just some... Uh Examples of what I mean, uh, human and God, and then the merger could be the Christ figure, again, another yin-yang kind of uh, figure. So creation and evolution, peace and war, thought and action, another one, uh, action and reaction, uh, P.S., my view on uh, Newton's laws of motion, uh, and their... Yeah, and their true application is between the physical and psychological. For example, give your time and effort to do good in the world and your mind will benefit and vice versa and also vice versa. If you do something bad, uh, you're going to be psychologically bad. And I'll be explaining uh, that later as well in that uh, anti-gravity part 6 video. So also basically, the you know, the... Uh, 
You have the famous quote, as above, so below, or uh, the alpha and the omega, and also uh, mind control and control of your own mind. For example, if you have an addiction to anything, whether it's alcohol or or smoking, in other words, you don't have control of your own mind. Uh, so hero worship and becoming a hero, fear and excuses to avoid responsibility, and uh, my personal favorite, <laughs> so uh, global world conspiracy run by powerful people, Freemasons, aliens, reptilians, demons. Satanists, etc., or just uh, simply looking in the mirror. Hashtag We are the creators and inmates of our own prison. And also, uh, I like that. And the prison walls is well, gravity. It what it is what physically keeps us down. And then uh, my philosophy is uh, th that is a representation of the psychological uh, imprisonment. A prison without uh, physical walls. <laughs> it's gravity. So, anyways. So, anyways. So, with that said, hopefully you understand just how much of a painstaking effort and truly far researching, uh, yeah, far reach reaching, yeah, the research that I am embarking upon is. And all this simply to answer the question, why does a spinning top stay upright? And no, the simple government-funded taxpayer money stolen multiple choice answer of, quote, angular mentum by, quote, professors that profess to have knowledge yet subconsciously steal from taxpayers' money. Uh, yeah, I didn't choose to give money to the government, nor will I ever freely choose to. Is, uh, yeah, so basically saying angular mentum is just not good enough. And... Uh, yeah, so basically if, uh, if a professor yeah, claims to have knowledge but at the same time is taking taxpayer money because, you know, it's getting a salary, <laughs> subconsciously it's going to, yeah, well, that, that's all subconscious because they're not, they're not consciously choosing to steal but it's going to show physically. So in my view, that's why they're uh, way off the mark in terms of, well, pretty much all of science when you look, especially when you look at 9-11 and free energy blatantly in our face. So, uh, but if you want to get get ahead of the curve and not simply wait for my groundbreaking hashtag anti-gravity part 6 video, then just ponder this question. Why does a gyroscope maintain its orientation as the earth rotates, but a spinning top doesn't? I'll uh, let you uh, yeah, think that through on your own. Hashtag inception is real. Uh, so also, uh, my research has led me to believe that it's not just solely objects in rotation that seems to find patterns in all of life, but simply the interconnectedness of anything and everything suggests that truly understanding anything to the absolute fundamental nature, regardless of how specific or small and apparent magnitude, for example, just how does a spinning top uh, maintain its orientation? I mean, not mean, how does it just keep upright? It uh, doesn't maintain it as the Earth spins. If you just uh, think about it. Yeah, so basically, uh, if you understand anything, even regardless of how small, it will involve or involves uh, encountering and understanding all of life itself. So in other words, if you know anything, you know everything. So some uh, words of MES wisdom there. Yeah, so anyways, um, um, going further in this video, I will try to upload videos more often while I obsess about building my own uh, free energy <laughs> uh, UFO. Anyways, if you haven't uh, picked up on it already, I can be very obsessive in my pursuit of obtaining mathematically verifiable, easy solutions. And this time I've gotten so carried away into the wonderful world of objects and rotation that I've hardly posted any new videos. This has to change and uh, yeah basically because I feel a lot better posting more routinely especially in my more mathematically challenging videos so for now I will aim at uploading a super packed math video about once a month until I finish my hashtag anti gravity part 6 video <laughs> or book or whatever <laughs> uh, whatever it seems like we'll get to so after which I can post more routinely also I'll try to post weekly some of the amazing experiments that I've been performing in my uh, spinning quest for truth as for my other specific, quote, conspiracy videos you know, or topics, I will occasionally post about them when I feel is necessary, but uh, for all things, <laughs> yep, yeah, but all things, uh, free energy is in my sight currently and almost, almost fully at my grasp. Hashtag stay tuned. Uh, and also, yeah, now here's the new video series, MES Science Experiments. So in my quest for uncovering the true nature of gyroscopes, I have uh, went a bit overboard and bought several thousand dollars worth of gyroscopes, spinning tops, random spinning gizmos, magnets, science toys, science toys measurement electronics, and electrical equipment. And here's this, uh, this is a post I tweeted in February actually and I said that that has a lot of gyroscopes more to come get caught up on suppressed UFO science
So yeah, this is a bunch of boxes I ordered, uh, and that, that was in February, and now imagine, <laughs> so this picture was in February, so multiply this by about 20, then you would have an idea of, of how high my credit card bill is, it's pretty uh, ridiculous. Anyways, I was planning on uploading individual experiments after I finish uh, hashtag anti-gravity part 6, because I still need a lot more research before finishing, I'll upload some of the experiments as part of this new series. Many of these experiments are more or less to present a physical phenomenon in a simple, uh, clean and concise way. This is to both let you know the type, of, the type of research I am investigating, as well as to get your feedback on what you think is happening, uh, not just some regurgitation of uh, uh, mainstream uh, nonsense. Uh, this would be a great way to brainstorm all possibilities as to the true causation of a phenomenon or any specific phenomenon or phenomena. Uh, hashtag stronger together. And unlike mainstream, quote, science and perception management tools like Vsauce, Veritasium, Bill Nye, the, quote, science guy, Neil deGrasse Tyson, and all of Orwellian Wikipedia, I won't even pretend to know all the answers, so feel free to let me know your ideas, even if they are a bit eccentric. Uh, basically, if it makes sense to you, <laughs> it's good enough for me. Uh, after all, seven towers turned to dust on 9-11 with very little rubble, very little seismic impact, all while a giant hurricane was seemingly steered off the coast of Long Island with near nearly complete media blackout both before and after 9-11 and both by mainstream and mainstream quote alternative media outlets I'll write this here while the world's quote universities live the pathetic physics defying lie that two aluminum quote planes flying well above plausible speeds at super low altitudes can slice through steel girders like butter um, and basically can do all of this basically turning seven towers <laughs> and when you ask how many towers that came down or uh, turned to dust they'll, <laughs> they'll think two uh, fell down because if you repeat a lie many times they'll just believe it uh, and and uh, even even with all this fake uh, quote planes and so on yet the passport of one of the non-existent quote hijackers was left intact <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, basically, yeah, basically what I'm trying to get at is there isn't really a big, uh, uh, yeah, quote, big giant world conspiracy if we, the public, keep buying such absolute brainless stupidity. Hashtag use your intellect, people. It's not a conspiracy when it's blatantly in your face. So, MES note, buy Dr. Judy Wood's book, Where the Towers Go, ASAP at, at MES.fm slash Judy Wood uh, book. I'll put a link there. Also check out my uh, hashtag 911 truth video series at MESFM slash 911 truth dash playlist. So free energy existing so blatantly in our eyes means reality itself is open for all to make their their mark on it or their own mark on it, regardless of what the fake establishment quote science says. Uh, cough the ether exists. <laughs> cough. <laughs> Anyways, I will include the affiliate links where possible if you want to purchase the equipment that I use. And uh, yeah, that I use. So please uh, use those links. So if you're interested in buying the same equipment that I did and perform experiments yourselves, please check with the video description for the affiliate link in case, or the, or the affiliate links in case I manage to get one. Uh, yeah, let's put that uh, in bracket uh, in case I have more links than one. Uh, yeah, if I have one, please use that. I literally spent thousands on my credit card purchasing random gizmos to study, so it would be great if you can help out and buy from my affiliate links. Also, please donate at, at MESFM slash donate so that I can eventually build my, my, yeah, my very own UFO... Uh, which I will go to uh, all lengths to make. If you donate large enough, I may fly over to meet you. <laughs> And uh, anyway, so pro tip, play the videos at a faster speed or slower, depending on uh, on what you're trying to get at. Uh, as you should know by now, since uh, I always promote listening to videos at faster speed for hashtag improved brain power. Yeah, this strategy is also a must when uh, watching very long experiment, experiment videos, such videos as a gyroscope pendulum test in my garage that last 40 minutes, and there's no chance I'm going to be sitting there watching at normal speed. If it wasn't for playing videos at a faster speed, I'd probably not be in the hashtag free energy and hashtag suppressed science research field. So yes, I highly recommend a video speed controller as shown below and which works on nearly all video types and across all different websites. The one I use is for Chrome and it's pretty pretty sweet. Right here and here is the short uh, URL link. It's made for it. MESFM slash video speed dash extension. Here you can do it. Uh, you can increase speed uh, manually using the mouse or using keyboard shortcuts. The keyboard shortcuts are amazing too so once you get the hang of them. Yeah, and also you can uh, play videos as slow as uh, point 
uh, 1 or 0.10 times speed or as fast as 16 times speed hashtag truly amazing so basically watching 16 videos uh, at 16 times speed of experiment videos is uh, is infinitely times better than watching one video at normal speed at 16 minutes <laughs> or so so anyways, stay tuned for my first experiment. My first experiment demonstrates a simple and almost universally unknown uh, property. Yeah, property of gyroscopes. Gyroscope, yeah, yeah, gyroscopes can process upwards on low friction surfaces. <laughs> I'll show you that video. I'm like, what's going on here? It doesn't say this on Wikipedia. Uh, let me know what you think the reason is as soon as I upload the video. Hint, I'm of the view that rotation interacts with gravity. Hashtag stay tuned for that and the link to this uh, hashtag MES experiments video series is uh, right here MESFM slash experiments dash playlist anyways enough mumbo jumbo make sure to keep an eye out for the first experiment also if you know of any cool experiments that need making let me know and uh, yeah that's all for today if you follow along this <laughs> this uh, far reaching and quite out there video but that's what you're gonna expect from MES and uh, and yes all of life <laughs> who would have thought uh, is pretty much in my view at least summed up by <laughs> by the merger of opposing forces or opposite forces let's fix that spelling and by rotation or the yin yang or the number 69 you'll see that everywhere 666 you'll see it everywhere and uh, I'll show you what I think the real meaning behind all this art or not just real meaning there's uh, multiple meanings it depends on how you look at it but uh, <laughs> basically if you have an open clear mind you're going to see better meanings than other people with other kind of thoughts anyways that's all for today if you learn like always you can download these exact notes in the link in the description below as well as viewing these notes on steam it and follow me at mes and and yeah stay tuned for the next video i'll be uploading it shortly anyways that's all for today thanks for watching stay tuned for another math easy solution